I recently saw that Graf von Baphomet, the vocalist of Psychonaut 4, was kicked out of the band and arrested, additionally with new and old allegations surfacing about him, and we need to talk about it. Before we get into this, I do just have a couple of trigger warnings for drug use and abuse in SA. I can't stress enough that a lot of this is still just allegations. Some of it is proven, but there's very limited information on it where all of this is so recent, as well as the fact that there's just limited information on Psychonaut for themselves as it is. A couple of weeks ago, Graf von Baphomet, also known as David Lamedes, was arrested for drug possession and use after this led to the death of a young woman. The pair were using together when both of them overdosed. Groff survived after having life-saving emergency surgeries on both his heart and kidney, but unfortunately the woman passed away. This, however, is not the first time that this has happened. Back in 2021, he was using fentanyl with two girls, one of which was his girlfriend, the other being her sister, and all three of them overdosed. The two girls tragically passed away, but Groff survived after being in a coma for a period of time. That same year, prior to the death of the two girls, he was arrested on drug possession charges for possessing the drug alpha peraldina pentiophenone. Probably butchered that, but it's also known as flaca or gravel. He was fined 5,000 Georgian dollars, which is the equivalent of around 1,600 US dollars. He posted on the official Psychonaut 4 page asking for donations to pay this off, and in less than 24 hours, he had enough money to pay this off and just take down the post like nothing ever happened. Not only am I baffled that people genuinely donated money to bail him out of jail for flock of possession, and then not only that, but be shocked that it happened a second fucking time. As for the past allegations, around two years ago, some allegations came out against Groff that he had allegedly sent some photos to minors. The story goes that he sent these photos to multiple fans, and one of the several girls that he sent these photos to was underage. But other accounts claim that once he found out that she was underage, he deleted the photos. Still sexual harassment nonetheless. Additionally, many fans that have met him said that their interactions with him were very strange and that he had a very odd, off-putting demeanor and energy. The band has since released a statement on their official Instagram page. It is in Georgian, but I found a rough translation of it in English. It goes into the band's past struggles with addiction, as well as David's extensive history of addiction and continuous struggle with it. They also make it very clear that David has tried many times to get sober. They stated that the message of their band has always been no drugs, no addiction, and that they just try to share their experiences through the music and be like, hey, don't fucking do this. Regarding him getting arrested, this is what they had to say. I want to make David's blind haters happy and tell them that David is already paying the penalty for buying and storing drugs. And we at this point continue to make music without him, spread our core message, no drugs, no addiction, and hold the hope that David's present condition will be a relief from this unfortunate situation. Psychonaut 4 has additionally announced that they are having a quote-unquote surprise vocalist for their upcoming tour. Upon all of this information coming out, I also found that all of Psychonaut 4's music has been removed from Instagram. As I said at the beginning of this video, a lot of this is still hearsay and there's not much information about it yet. But if you would like updates on it and see what becomes of it, let me know. That's all I got for you today. Thank you so much for watching. If anyone has any other links or information about this, please let me know. All my links are in my bio and goodbye and gatekeep.